this morning, I will want us to open into the scripture. I will want us to open into the book of First Chronicles. I Chronicle chapter four. We will be reading from verse nine to ten. What is that? Verse nine to From verse nine to ten. Is that verse nine to Okay, if you are there, you can read louder. Just make sure. So, my one fellow is my own. So, we're not in my car. Chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. And Jabez. And Jabez. Was more honorable. Was more honorable. Than his brethren. Than his brethren. And his mother. And his mother. Called his name Jabez. Call his name Jabez. Say. Say. Because I have bear him with sorrow. Because I have bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called. I would like you to underline that sorrow. I know that fashion say pain. Okay, continue, ma. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. No, Jabez called on the God of Israel. Saying. Saying. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. If thou you can bless me indeed. And enlarge my coast. And enlarge my coast. And that On the line, enlarge my coast. Uh huh. And that thy hand. And thy hand. Might be with me. Might be with me. And that thou wouldest keep me. And that wouldest keep me. From evil. From evil. Thank you. That's there, right? Is that yes, 9 to 10? Yes, Thank sir. you. You can drop the mic. Go back to your seat. That is the only place you will read and I will explain. Then we'll go into the prayer. The Bible said, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Jabez is not more honorable At times, the, same, the statement from the scripture we need to understand them. No, the word honorable, honorable than his brethren came first. Oh, don't pay me any of what you need to do. No, he said no, the Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. That was not first thing that happened to Jabez. The second statement, the second statement, now said, but the mother bear him with sorrow. They give birth to him with pain. And the mother name him pain. The mother gave him sorrow. It means the life and the name of Jabez. You just call Jabez. The real name of Jabez is pain. The real name of Jabez is sorrow. We can we can we can define sorrow and pain in different perspectives. If there are things you want to do and you are not able to do it, it can put you in pain. If there are many things that you have to do and you don't have ability to do it, you are in pain. There is no way somebody break hand and is feeling pain that we are calling pain. It is not when you break leg and you are feeling pain in back part of that leg is what we call pain. Remember the mother of Jabez went into labor. And he gave birth to a child. He gave birth to a son. And after when he gave birth, you know what it means for somebody to pregnant for seven for nine months. And when he delivers, and people will rejoice, and the mother will be happy because he has delivered it. Either a man or a woman, he will be very happy, the family will be very happy because they have delivered. Because this is what they have been expecting for so long. And I want to know the reason why this man was, was carrying the pregnancy for nine months. After nine months that she delivered, and she looked at the baby she delivered, and she gave that baby name. Your name shall be called Pain. 
shall be consumed. Oh, my I don't know what Jabez has been done to the mother. I don't know what Jabez has caused to the mother. And she decided to call that child pain. Every woman always go in pain whenever they want to deliver. She was not the first person to go to pregnant. She was not the first person to travel. She has not been first. She's not the first person to give birth. She's not the first person to go to labor room. She's not the first person to push. Why is it that she pushed in a time? And she gave the baby pain. There must be a reason for that. After she gave the child pain, and I want to, I want to explain this very two verses of that scripture for to you tonight. And Jabez begins to grow up. Jabez is in Daga. Jabez begins to grow up. Jabez in Daga. Jabez begins to grow up. Jabez in Daga. And you find that there are things around him that is not glorifying God. I know she will call for the par to the parents. I know she will call attention of the parents. What is really wrong with me? What is really my problem? What is exactly the problem is? What exactly my problem is? I have tried everything in life. There is no result. I have tried everything in my power. I have tried everything in my ability. There is no result. Maybe the parent of Jabe sent him to school. He became a graduate. After they have spent money on him. And they are expecting him to bring back return. And Jabe begins to carry his certificate from one place to the other. Instead of him to, to, to he started seeking for an employment. They could not employ him. And when they went for interview, they would interview him. He's very eloquent. And they know that he's very intelligent. The parents knew. Even he came out with the first class. But after all of this, Jabez is still struggling. Maybe he has put everything together. But he has never seen results. But he will be wondering uh, what is my problem. And he will be wondering what exactly that is wrong with me. But he has forgotten his name, really the meaning of his name. Maybe they now interpret to him. They call you Jabez. Your name is Jabez. Did you know the meaning of this name? The meaning of the name is pain. So for this reason, you have to cause pain to yourself and to your generation. The reason they call you that Jabez, this name was pronounced to you the day you were born. The day your mother gave birth to you, they have put this pronouncement upon your life. So you are only joking. You can only you can only turn around to seek for an employment. You will never see one. If you eventually see one before you work two months, something will happen in that place. They will throw you out. Then you will return back home. You will cry and cry. Why is it that others around me are achieving good things? They don't know what I know. They don't have the they don't have the the, the good qualification that I have. Some of them did not come out as a first class. Why is it that they are doing well? But he has forgotten something that that is called, that called pain. This pain in the life of Jabez 
What is yoke? That is his yoke. Ajaga. There is nothing Jabez can do. That he can see results. There is nothing he can lay his hands upon. That he will do well. Because of that yoke. That yoke is a yoke of pain. Now the Bible now says something. He said Jabez has noticed that there is nothing good working in his life. And the Bible said he pray unto the God of Israel that enlarge my cause. Now hear this. If he pray such prayer that the Lord should enlarge his course, I want us to reason together now. It means Jabez was living in the life of limitation. In every aspect of life, he was limited with everything. See, when they are talking about limitation, maybe at that time, that base was 40-something years old. He started calculating everything about achievement in life. He has, he has never achieved one. So when he said, enlarge my course, he won't go to move him forward. He won't go to do something in his life. So when he said, Lord, enlarge my course, Oh, it means he was limited with some certain things. He was limited with achievement in life. He was limited in everything. Good thing. He was limited in every good thing in life. So he need to cry unto God. Enlarge my cause. Oh Lord, enlarge my cause. It means he's living in a room. And his achievement should be beyond that. At that moment, there should be children surrounding his table. At that moment, there should be there should be cars parked in his compound. And he find out that is not is growing beyond his achievement. His age is counting every now and then. And there are no achievements that he can count. He can can only count his age. He celebrates birthday every year. And he's counting his age. But there is no achievement to count. There is no achievement to point to. Now he now knew to he done on him. I cannot keep counting my age. Without achievement can be counted. Oh Lord, enlarge my course. Oh Lord, do something in my life. Oh Lord, intervene in my situation. Oh Lord, arise on my behalf. Because he find out, he done on him at this time. I shouldn't be talking about I want to marry. What we make that base to take note of what is, what is wrong with him. You must look around of the people that they were born the same time. You look at his age group. You look at the people they attended school together. You look at the people that they play, they play around together. You look at the man of his equal. You look at his colleagues. You look at his people, his friends. He knew that they gave birth to this person during the time they gave birth to me. They might not be the same date. Maybe the same month, the same year. Or the same month or the same year. And these people have achieved a lot. That word, that base was more honorable than his brethren. That was after his, his, that the Lord has blessed him. So that statement was not before the pain. It was after the pain. The Bible was trying to explain about Jabez. Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But because before he became honorable, before the, or before the honor came, 
He was in pain. He was in sorrow. He was in pain. See, when we talked about sorrow, there are many things that can cause you sorrow. It is not only when someone's child dies. Then maybe that's when you think demon can be in sorrow. Please, there are many things that can put someone in pain. There are many things that can cause you pain. If you, re if you receive insults in a huge way, there are some insults that you will receive that can put you in pain. There are some disgrace that are some disgrace that, are, that, are, that are some disgrace that can come to someone that will put someone in pain. If the Bible says Jabez is in pain. That if the Bible is saying Jabez's his name is sorrow. It means anytime he goes out. Since he sees around him, he's not encouraging. He will return back and he will be crying in the house. So, there are many situations that makes you to cry in the house. Sometimes you to pretend over it. When somebody comes in, you quickly wipe your face. Sometimes you smile. But that smile is not from within. You are smiling physically. But there are a lot of pains in your heart. You are laughing. People are seeing you laughing. But you are going through pain. Some of this pain you cannot explain it. Some of this pain you keep it to yourself. Those things are the yoke. Yoke is being carried by you alone. See, when we are talking about yoke, yoke is what someone carry alone. It's what they put, it's what is put on you. So it's only you that can shake that yoke away. It's only you that can remove that yoke on yourself. With the help of God, with the help of prayer, that yoke that you have been carrying for so long. That yoke of barrenness. That yoke of delay. Delay in achievement. Delay in marriage. Delay, delay in achievement. Delay in doing well. Delay in moving forward. Every limitation. In every area that you have been limited. Anything that has been limiting you. This morning. This morning. This morning. The God of this commission. The Bible said. And Jabez prayed to God of Israel. This morning. You are going to pray in the name of God of this commission. And Enlarge your course in the name of Jesus. He will enlarge your course in the name of Jesus. He will enlarge your course in the name of Jesus. Every yoke that you have been passing through that has been upon you. Every yoke of disgrace. Before you get things done, it always leads to disgrace. It always leads to disgrace. Even if you will finally make, even if you will finally do them, he must have turned to disgrace. <laughs> he must have turned to disgrace. Hear yeah, me, let me share this testimony. When we talked about the uh, yoke, when I was growing up with my parents, I found out there is something that is always the time that the landlord will cause and shouts that you people have not paid, you have only been the one that is paying last in this compound. 
if he had not turned to disgrace, that money will not come. So when that thing turned to disgrace, we will still finally pay. But why is it that it's always happening that way? Until we turn, until they turn to disgrace. The, 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 the house will live last before everybody start leaving the place. It was, it was a woman. The la, I mean, the, land, the, the landlady is a, is, a, is a woman. And she will always come. And she has a loud voice. She's a very loud vocal. From the from immediately she entered the compound. Immediately she crossed the gutter. She will start shouting. You have not paid me my money. Oh, this song will let me I build my house because of this time. I know I will get old. That said that I will not have strength to walk again. Then I can be using this rent to eat. So why are you suffering me? It's my money. I am hungry. I want to eat. You cannot pay me my money. So this thing is always happening that way. So it's always turning to disgrace. It's always turning to disgrace before that money will be paid. Why is it happening that way? And I find that because it has not, it's not one, it's not first time, it's not second time. Places we have been living before that place, it has been like that. So you need to understand that that is what they call a yoke. You need to understand that that is what they call a yoke. So at that time, Thank God for God. We have the understanding of the of the of the scripture. We go to church, they preach. There are other people in that compound. The woman will say something. He said that is one thing I like about Babachi Gozi. He's always paying me, paying me my money very on time. Before I ask, at times he will even pay ahead. So, so those people that are also human beings like us, these people does not even serve God the way we serve God. And these people, they have not been disgraced before they pay their money. He will not even go close to their room. Even after he has shouted and shouted, it's even this Baba Chigose that will come and rescue us. He will call the woman Alaja Kong. Take, take it easy with, with them. And don't worry, they will pay you. You know, Nigeria is not easy. I would say, Nigeria is not easy. Nigeria is not easy. But how are you paying your whole money before the time? He said, all fingers are not equal. But you know what? He said, that now that I came, I use my last transport, the last money on me to enter transport to this place. That now, how do I go back home? So they need to pay me my money. Even if they cannot pay all, let them pay part of the money so that I can eat and I can go back home. There is no money to pay. Is this Babachi Gose that will not say, Elijah, don't worry. I will take care of your transportation. I will also give you money to eat. So give them Maybe like when did he promise you that they will pay? He said they have been giving me time before I show face. So I don't believe in what the time they are going to give to me. So are you going to stand for them? The man will say, okay, I will stand for them. So if they cannot pay that time they gave you, can't on me. I will do something. And this thing has been happening over and over again. This is a joke. And I put it as a prayer point. I say, oh Lord my God, this yoke and this body that my parents are facing, I don't want to go through it. And we begin to pray. Oh Lord our God, break this yoke upon us. Some of us, we are like that. There are a lot of troubles. 
even the school that we are managing to send our children to go. At times, they are always being the one to pay last in the school. At times, they will not even be able to pay the last time. Last time, God, this Another time, time will enter. Why is it that you always go during the time of examination to go and beg the, the proprietor? Why is it that you always examination. go there when they want to do exam? You always show face, say, my, my, Madam, please, hey, we, are, we are going to pay. Let him write exam. They know you in that school not because you are you are you are caring more than you are caring parents. They always go and pay. That's what I want. They all, you always go to go and beg. Ah, you are going to pray tonight. This yoke shall be broken. 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 I did not want this yoke to repeat itself again. I did not want to continue like this. I did not want to continue like this. You are an enemy to your landlord. And most of the time, we will now, we will now, we will now try to maneuver or to modify it. Don't mind that landlord, Jari. It's because I'm a prayer warrior. That prayer is disturbing him. It's a lie. The prayer is not disturbing him. It's because you are delaying the rent. And the landlord will not like you. Because you are, will, they will believe you are suffering, you are suffering them with their money. They will believe you suffer them with their money. They will now be, they will now say, you always carry Bible. Don't come and do any prayer in this household. You will now think your prayer is disturbing the plan, Lord. You don't know money. So there are people that are best friend of the landlord in their house is staying. There are people that when the landlord is in, is in need, they are telling to the landlord we call them, Mr. Ben, come. I want to see you. You, you don't need to be in our meeting, no. You don't, don't, nobody, we, we don't need to disturb you. Do you know why we don't need to disturb you? Because you are a busy man. Because you are a nice man. So go to your working place. Don't bother about the meeting. You don't need the meeting. Because he knows before they say one thing or the other, the man will pay. The landlord is even borrowing money from him. Because the man he can always do things that the landlord wants him to do. But in our own case, it is not like that. So we are now an enemy to the landlord. <laughs> you are now an enemy to the landlord. <laughs> the landlord will be talking in the land, in the in the meeting. He said, This is my talent and is my best friend. You can only be the best friend to your landlord when you are not hoeing him. You can only be the best friend to the landlord when you are not hoeing. But if you are not hoeing, you are you are you will be his best friend. But when you are are hoeing them, you will be their enemy. Whatever yokes, whatever power that have made you to be an enemy to your landlord, today that yoke shall be broken. In the name of Jesus, today that yoke shall be broken. In the name of Jesus, today that, that yoke shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. The financial yoke in our life shall be broken. The financial yoke. The financial yoke shall be broken. So I want us to rise on our feet. Now. I want us to rise on our feet. Now.